Good afternoon. Good to be here with you. We're into February. As we're speaking, we're expecting a, a great big snowstorm. Whether it happens or not, nobody knows. But I want to talk to you about your calling, uh, your gifting, and what God has for you. I believe every single person that's a believer has a calling. It's a nudge from God that, that there's a certain interest we would have, whether it would be preaching or singing or serving, or just we see a specific need that's out there. Uh, it just seems to be us. It's God, God's way of getting our attention. So let me read Ephesians 2.10 for you. It says, therefore, excuse me, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which he prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And so I'm believing that God has something special in mind for you. Now I'll take Brian, for example. God called him probably at an early age, and but God gave him the ability and the want to from being an athlete to suddenly being in the arts, musical, and leading in worship in particular. And I believe that's, that Brian's focus, no matter what we do, we could throw him in the ditch, he'd still want to lead worship. We could put him on the moon and he'd want to lead worship because worship is in his heart, bringing people into the presence of God. And because of that, God usually gives you giftings to go along with that. And so he gave him the ability to play that piano. From my opinion, no one does it better. So, But Brian is gifted in that area and God opened doors for him. And wherever he goes, that's what attracts him in those different areas, those different services that he's in. We have another a lady in our church called Sandy Barty. And Sandy is gifted in organizing and leading, and especially with kitchen work and women's ministry. So you'll find uh, when Sandy does something, it's, it's, it's well organized, and it's just done to the T. She sees what needs to be done, and she does it, and she's able to get people to help her to, to accomplish the task. So we're blessed to have these two people in our midst, but with the abilities to do those things. And Sandy wants to do it. Brian wants to do it. We've had Helen or Ellen Churchill for many, many years, as many years as I've been here, with, along with her husband, late husband. But they wanted to serve. They would clean the church with vigor, with desire, singing and worshiping and praising God, you know. And she would always tell me, I love you, Pastor, but I'm doing this for Jesus. It's in her heart to serve and to work and to do those kinds of things. We have people that love the Bible. You know, you have like a, a Kim Paul or others that just love to teach the Word of God. It's in them. Other people are fearful of being in front of people. They're able to go up in front of people and really dissect the Word of God and make it where it's applicable to everyone's, everyone's needs. Me, I like to preach. Uh, I just like the spontaneity of preaching. I like the dynamics of preaching. Anywhere I go, I think, what it would be like for me to preach here because God put it in my heart. And there's, there's certain abilities that are there. And some people would even say to me, Pastor, you realize that when you're up behind the pulpit, you're a different person than what you are just in, in normal life. And it's because the anointing and the gifting is on them. Well, how do you know what gift you have? I think many times the gift, or your gift will put you before kings, the scripture says, or to put you before leaders that will want to use your gift for them. And I just think it's, it's a desire that you will have. And you'll find others looking at you and really honestly giving you a compliment and saying things like, boy, when you're up there, there's just a presence of God. Or when you're doing that work for people, it's just, it's just who you are. It's just fantastic. You do it well. And I think you're going to find our, we're going to find ourselves doing things for the glory of God. Find something, a need that's unmet, that God puts on your heart. I mean, for a while there, I, I was very interested in just getting people natural water in foreign countries. As, as a church, we've had the privilege of doing that. But it's just, you're seeing a need, and God puts the desire for you to be part of what meets that need. Many people see the poor, uh, the disenfranchised, 
the homeless, and they have a desire to want to do something for those people. Others just don't see the need. But when you see that need, that's God nudging you towards that style of ministry. Maybe you have an eye for decorating, and you can go into a church and just have all these fantastic ideas. It's a gifting. It's what God wants to do. Others love to pray. Some people, not that they don't want to talk to God, but their minds don't allow them to sit still long enough to pray. But there's others that have that gift of intercession where they just constantly are praying over people, for people, you know, to God through Jesus Christ. It's a gift. It's something all of us could do, but it's a gift certain people have. There's people that have the gift of singing, of just with their voice. I believe my granddaughter has that gift. And you can see other people saying this and saying that. Uh, one exposure and other organizations want to use her because they see that God gifted her with a gift. And I, I say it about her, but it can be said about a lot of people. We have great athletes in our church. I think of the gymnastics and all the things that go around that. But there's people that are gifted to do that and they attract other people. Uh, we had uh, a vacation planner come over and talking for several hours and one of the things she said is some of her kids were in gymnastics. We talked and they were talking about, well, someone in our church that owns the place and how kind, how nice they are, how instructive they are, how disciplined they are. And it's just that their gift is in training young people, but in the process, they're influencing people for the kingdom of God. See, God can use your gift in any strata of life. So I'm just saying to you, and if that's your gifting, you're going to see results. So expect to see results in what you do for the kingdom that you're gifted in. Pastor Ben is a passionate, handsome, unless he wakes up in the morning, that's a different story, but passionate person. He loves people. He loves the Word of God. He loves young people in particular and wanting to form their lives after Christ. So he's gifted to do that, and he's doing an awesome job. So I think together as a church, we, we've got some talented people, gifted people, and I want you to find your place of ministry in this church, and we're going to help you find that. So everyone has a calling. Find your calling and start doing it for the glory of God. You'll enjoy it, you'll bless others, and your life will be rich and fulfilled doing kingdom work. Thank you for listening in Jesus' name.